Welcome back, Newman Warriors, NWRN, Newman Warrior Radio News. We're so glad that you're tuning in here today. We want to thank everybody for listening. We want to make sure that uh, we get you all the information that you need to know, anything that you need to have to be on time and ready for what's ahead of you for not only this week, but this month. And so um, I've got Ken in the studio here with me today. Hi, everybody. uh, How you doing over there, Ken? Doing really good, thanks. Excellent, excellent. Okay. Uh, Now, what I want to do is I want to kind of go over what our programming list looks like today, and then I'm going to throw out something at you that is new to NWRN really quick here. What we're doing is um, after our intro uh, with, with Daniel Unlocked and Ken, um, we're going to jump right into our news team's uh, program. They've brought some great news stories to you. Uh, after that, we're going to have Action Sports with Coach Ivy. It's, a, it's, always, it's always a fun one. Always. And um, then after that, we've got a new addition to our programming. It's called Perspective with Pat. And, yeah, I'm uh, looking forward to that one. I'm really excited about that one. That one's that one. Uh, it's going to be great. You know, he's a senior here. He's a medical pre-med student, um, and he's an outstanding warrior. And so we're going to have a good time uh, going over that one. And then after that, we'll probably end up uh, wrapping it up for the the day. We might even have like our own song on here at some point. We're going to start be adding music to the program yes. very soon. Yeah, it's kind of building on our last broadcast, kids. If you are interested in music, or if you're interested in recording your music that's, that's right. something we're gonna we're gonna try to start providing for you guys so if, if you're interested in that at all just hit us up at the media office we're right over here by Mr. Stockwell's class and uh, we're not only looking for people who record their own music but we're also looking for students who want to record their music so there you go we can get you in the studio put you in front of a microphone and then we'll put you in front of the entire student body that's right that's right you know once it uh, as long as it fits through our um, Newman standard and, and you, you know, uh, have your. I'd, I'd love to hear some original songs. Yeah, honest, those yeah. would be great to hear. Originals or covers, we're gonna do whatever. Either, either way it goes. Yeah. Okay. And the, uh, instruments, they, you know, uh, if somebody doesn't play an instrument, we could pretty much uh, maybe um, get an instrument to play we're, with them. We're gonna get creative. Let's okay, put so it that way, we're, we're gonna, gonna be have really fun, creative. Be creative. <laughs> yeah, and uh, as you know, like like Daniel said, as long as it fits with human culture, you know, it's, it's clean and, and nothing inappropriate, then. Uh, you know, you're on. That sounds like that sounds like good. Okay, now the next thing I want to do. Okay, you guys, I want to make sure I get this out to everybody. I want to make this very clear. Um, one, I want all of you warriors that are listening. This goes to parents, faculty, staff, and students. Okay, I want you to text somebody and tell them to check out NWRN Newman Warrior Radio News. Get them to tune in and check out the broadcasting. Let's spread the word. Let's spread the love. Let's gather behind the radio program and get it out there. Okay. Secondly, to all of you, um, you know, parents and warriors out there that are all in the new and family, uh, we have started a new. Uh, we're, we're launching something new with NWRN. And this is going to be a chance for you know a local business to uh, sp- have a place of sponsorship in the Newman family. Okay, so NWRN, if you'd like your company's name or um, you know a l- a little clip of your company's business advertised here on NWRN. We've got several different levels of advertising slash underwriting for you to be able to come in at. You know, it starts at bronze, goes gold, uh, uh, bronze, silver, gold, gold plus, VIP, and then superstar levels of uh, of sponsorship and underwriting. It goes from us maybe you know, just being able to mention your name on the air to mentioning your name, your address, um, where you can be found, to um, you know taking up a minute to two minutes of time here on the air in between our programming. So if that is something that interests you, please get a hold of of us here in the media department. I've got an email for you. I want you to write this email down. This is D H E N S L E Y at newmanacademy.org. I want you to email D Hensley at newmanacademy.org. And that will be for you to be able to have a spot on NWRN um, as a sponsor or underwriter and to help get your business name out there to all of our Newman families. So if you're interested in that, make sure to email us and give us a call um, if you if you need to, and we will go from there. Uh, Ken, is there anything else that you uh, think we need to bring on before we jump right into our, our news team? 
No, not really, man. Uh, I think you you pretty much hit all the bases. Covered okay, all the bases well, there. there we go. All right, Newman Warriors, we're going to change gears now, and we're going to go right in over to our, our news girls, and uh, we're going to see what is happening in the world of Newman News. Now we're going to jump right into our news segment. We have international news stories. We have calendar events. We have uh, uh, movie reviews, student report, and some great news stories that are going to be brought to you by our news team. We have Sydney, Ad- Abby, and Alyssa here. Uh, the freshman uh, news team, they're going to bring you a report up next. And then after that, we'll also have action sports, followed by perspective with Pat. Okay, so Alyssa, who's going to hand this right over to you? All right. Welcome back, Newman Warriors. As he said, this is Alyssa, and I am here to bring you right over to Sydney, who's going to get us started with our awesome news stories. Hey, guys. I hope you are doing well. We are actually going to be starting with weather today, so let's get right into it. Mon- today looks like a high of 87 and a low of 66 with mostly sun. Tuesday is a high of 87 and a low of 71 with more sun. Wednesday with a high of 87 again and a low of 64 with some AM showers. So we might have some thunderstorms towards the beginning of the day. Then Thursday, a high of 83 and a low of 61 with some more possible thunderstorms. And then Friday, a high of 81 and a low of 63 with some more sun. So let's also get right in to our news story. Can't see, can't wait to see what you have this week, Sydney. Totally excited. This one was actually my favorite. It's about a child who's been blind for his entire life. He's 12 years old. And that one of the headlines said, Every child would like to know what their mom looks like. For this boy, he's been wondering for 12 years. So Christopher Ward Jr. has been considered legally blind his whole life. Until he was invited to Washington, D.C. from his home in Forest, Virginia and looked through a pair of electronic goggles. The video was a beautiful piece showing how he saw his mother for the first time. He told her she was very beautiful and was just thrilled to be able to see. And I don't know about you guys, but this is pretty remarkable being able to be like see if you're blind. That's amazing. I mean, technology is definitely advancing these days. Right. That, that's just that's this is really sweet. So it's it's was <laughs> they're very expensive goggles. They are currently fifteen hundred dollars. And the mom said she wants to do whatever she can to raise money in order to purchase them for her son. So as soon as their community found out, they were the donations were pouring in. And I don't know what the update is now, but I would say that with the generosity of that community, I'm pretty sure that they're up there and probably about to get those goggles. So I think that it was, I thought it was just a really uplifting story and I just, my heart sang for that little boy. So let's jump right into our next news story. This was another wonderful story, uplifting and kind of with the pay it forward feel. Casey Simmons was in the checkout line at his local Kroger. He was working the checkout line when he noticed that a woman was placing her items on the conveyor belt in front of him and looked like she'd been crying. He was distraught and felt horrible for her with the idea of someone having a bad day. So when she was about to pull out her credit card, he covered the $17 grocery bill. Furthermore, Casey wrote down his email and phone number and it said that he worked at a restaurant down the street. And if she ever wanted someone to talk to, she could come in before his closing shift and he'd buy her a coffee or dessert. The next evening, a customer showed up and bought nothing but a 37 cent water but included a $500 tip for Casey. And beside the bill was a note written on a napkin explaining that the hefty gratitude was a courtesy of the Sullivan family whose mother was the woman in the grocery store. So not only do I love the goodness in the story, it's the pay it forward feel. It was kind of like paying it forward on steroids with this guy who was, he covered her grocery bill and then she then had someone go in and tip him this wonderful tip and it just it, it was just a great story and I'm sure that in the end it was just 
a happy moment for everyone. Very heartwarming, Sydney. All right, I'm going to go ahead and take us right into one of my new stories that we found for you all this week. All right, just now, an adorable baby orangutan was just born at the National Zoo. Burinian orangutans are a critically endangered species, and they only give birth about every eight years. It has been 25 whole years since they have last reproduced, which is why they are so in danger. For the first time in 25 years, an orangutan was born at this national zoo, which is in Washington, D.C. Staff at the zoo say that the male newborn has been nursing and clinging to his mother very well. His mother's name is Batang. Since birth Monday night, the... The... The orangutan has been doing very well, and the zoo staff are just keeping a close eye on it to make sure that it is doing just well. All right, Sydney, do you have one more news story for us? I do. First off, I love me some zoo stories. I think they're great, so I have one as well. And the headline for this story was, There's no big bad wolf coming for these little piggies. At a zoo in Melbourne, Florida, there was a couple of piglets born, and they are just so cute. It was, their mother is Visayan, I believe, and these pigs are just adorable, and I think that they will make a great addition to that zoo there in Florida. So... Alyssa, I think you've got some more news for us. This is a lot of news today. There is a lot of news. The world always got something going on. <laughs> All right. Our next title is A Simple Act of Kindness Can Change So Much. Recently, something... Sh yeah. An unfortunate incident happened in Manhattan's Chelsea neighborhood. That neighborhood is its really important, and all the people there are definitely really close. Night News witnessed one particular act of kindness, and the video of the encounter is now going viral. A man named Jermaine in the video approached a group of police officers and first responders and thanked them for, them for their service, handed them large bags full of Starbucks, pastries, drinks, and more as they all stood following this incident. This really inspired me because I know, especially in our area of Texas right now, there's a huge conflict going on um, with our police officers, and a lot of people do not respect them. And I really think this, um, this, this should hold your heart and kind of learn something from it. Random acts of kindness can really make a difference. I know it's cheesy, but it is definitely true. All right, my next news story for you guys is a lady who uses her couponing habits to help thousands of people in need. For most of us, clipping coupons is a way to put money back into our own pockets. But one woman in Virginia uses extreme couponing tactics for the greater good by buying groceries on the cheap and feeding the homeless. Once the stockpile of ingredients are all ready, they turn out to tasty, healthy meals for local homeless populations. Dishes like spaghetti and meatballs, baked chicken with rice, or cold cut sandwiches are served to people on the streets. They set up tables and serve dishes to many unsheltered people in the need of food, often hundreds and hundreds of people at a time. She delivered 5,000 meals along New Jersey, Washington, D.C., and Baltimore. Instead of using things for your own good and things that you really don't need, this can easily change some of your habits and use them to help others. This is a great way for us to offer. This is a great example for us to follow. Instead of just sitting around saying, oh, I wish we could do something, or we can do something someday, or I want to make a change, get up and do something. Stop waiting for someone else to do it. Get up and act. All right, those are all my news stories, but I hear Abby's got a great news story going on. Abby, take it away. Hey, what's up, guys? I've got a news story on can an algorithm write a better news story than a human reporter? Had Narrative Science, a company that trains computers to write story news stories thinks think just think about this every 30 seconds or so an algorithm bullpen of narrative science writes news stories faster and better than humans Heyman, the head man of this project insists that this product will not wash away the remaining human reporters who still collect paychecks from for, for more information on this product check out weird.com and in the search bar type in can an algorithm write better news stories than a human reporter that is it for my new story. Now I have something on the lunch menu. All right, Abby, thank you so much for bringing us that new story. And I'm so excited to hear what we're going to have for lunch this week. Let's get started. All right, Abby. So what we're going to do is we're going to have Abby tell you where to go to find lunch menu since we don't have it updated right now. All right. Go to the Newman website and 
scroll over to the news and media bar, you will see a list of topics. The fifth one down is the lunch menu. Click on there and you can download it. All right, Abby, thank you for letting us know where to find this. All right, I'm back at it again with our student report this week. All right, all right, all right. So, as I know that as a student, it can be extremely hard to find a balance in your life. Sports, parent expectations, home issues, extracurriculars, jobs, younger siblings are everything that you have to do with on top of all your schoolwork and worrying about your grade point average and everything like that. So, how do you find a balance? Try finding days where you have more time than others, even if it's only a few minutes, I tell you, it definitely will help. Make these days your study days. If you're having a lot of trouble studying for geometry, maybe when you have a little extra time on your way home or while you're sitting in the orthodontist office, maybe take out your geometry homework and get that done. A lot of times you feel like you have no time for anything, but really, you do. How much time do you spend watching Netflix or FaceTiming friends? When you get home, instead of going straight to your phone, go to your homework. Turn your distractions off and get some work done. Don't get upset when you're having trouble finding a balance. It takes time and it's okay. It can be hard to stay motivated and I'm here to tell you that you got this. You will never regret it if you keep pushing through. I know it's hard, but keep going and never, ever give up. No matter how hard it is, you can do it. All right, I am ready to hand this over to Sydney, who's going to be talking about our movie review. I can't wait to see what she's got for us this week. Sydney? Thank you so much, Alyssa. Man, I am pumped about all these news stories, and I think everything's going pretty great so far. And to top everything off, we have a movie review, as Alyssa stated. Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children. I know that this is going to be a great movie. It came out just last Friday, and it is rated PG-13. It is just over two hours long, and the movie is about when a young boy discovers clues to a mystery that spans different worlds and times, he finds Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children. But the mystery and danger begin to deepen as he gets to know the residents and learn about their special powers. Alyssa, have you heard of this movie yet? I have not, but I'm definitely going to go check out the trailer because this sounds awesome. So excited. So once again, it is rated PG-13, so maybe not for the younger kids. Just over two hours, and it came out just last Friday. So that concludes our movie review. Now we will hand it over to Alyssa for calendar events. All right, so ending this broadcast today, we have our Newman Calendar events. All right, all right, all right. October 3rd, our fall fundraiser catalog sales will begin. On October 10th, we have Columbus Day. That is a student holiday slash a teacher staff development day. So don't come to school unless you want to go right back home. October 14th, fundraiser orders are due, so make sure you get your things turned in on time. And just to give you a quick heads up, October 17th through the 20th will be your best benchmark week so make sure you're checking in with your teachers and getting tutoring and help if you need it we also have dollar jean day every friday where you can wear jeans color of your choice and you can pay a dollar to wear any shoes you want with a spirit shirt we also have wow wednesdays which are on the first and third wednesday of the month where you can wear two dollars to you can pay my i'm sorry you can pay two dollars to wear whatever you would like just keep it appropriate and sporting events that are going on in our school are always announced in the morning so if you ever need any updates with that just also check with check with any of our coaches and be sure you listen during morning announcements all right all right that concludes our weekly calendar events thank you so much for listening and we will see you next week all right thanks news team what a great job from our freshman uh news team uh, so proud of um all they're doing and all that we were brought what, what great news stories those were today so now what we're going to do um after a big thank you to, to you girls for your wonderful news report we're going to jump right into action news after this short break okay welcome back to warriors and i'm here with coach ivy and we're going to jump right into our next segment for NWRN, Newman uh, Warrior Radio News. And we're going to jump into our action sports news for Newman Academy. And we've got a lot to talk about. I've got Coach uh, Ivy in the studio with me. We're going to get to uh, recover some things and reintroduce you to uh, the vision behind um, action sports news. 
and also uh, what the what is up and coming for the um, athletic department and uh, what the updates are for games and events and also uh, whatever else it is that Coach uh, Ivy has to share with us. If you don't know, um, we're going to get you into the know and uh, we'll start by letting you know that <laughs> Coach Ivy is the, um, he's head over the athletics here at the Fuller campus and um, we're going to um, just jump right into it. Uh, welcome to the program. Welcome back, uh, Coach. Oh, thank you, thank you. I, I appreciate you guys having me again. Um, like I said, I really appreciate the first installment. Looking for many more installments of it and it really gives us a chance to light, uh, shine a light on the athletic department. Absolutely. It's almost like a walking billboard. That's right, that's right. Uh, so we're able to really put the program out there and show the product that we have. That's awesome. We're excited about it because we want to give the athletic department and all the players the platform to be able to, um, one, you know, communicate every all the sacrifice, all the, all the things that are getting, getting done um, and accomplished. We want to make sure that everyone inside the Newman family uh, you know, I'd say almost network of families, uh, you know, with, with all five camps, campuses, that we can all connect. And, you know, uh, it, as you listen to it, you know, new Warrior family, we want to make sure that you tell your friends and you tell your parents, you tell your uh, teammates and family members to tune in to NWRN, uh, Newman Warrior Radio News. You know, you just go to the website, tell them to go to the Newman Academy website, and, um, you know, you, if, if it doesn't start playing right away, uh, then you know what, you click on it, and we're gonna, you're going to get all the updates of what you need to know. And uh, so we are excited, I know, as a, as a, in a radio program, that uh, we get to have an actual uh, sports program on here. And so, um, you know, Coach, we went over a couple things uh, last in our last installment here, our last program, um, where we talked about the development process and um, what kind of program we are developing, the quality of program, the standard, you know, wisdom, stature, and favor, developing the, the whole person for the whole world. You know, you made a great point last time that, you know, you're developing young men and young women um, for success. And, um, you know, if we could just talk about that a little bit, because I know we're going to have, we have a lot of new listeners. We have people that are just discovering that we have a radio program. And as we introduce them to, you know, the athletic department and the athletic program, we want them to be completely informed as to what, um, you know, our value, our goal is and uh, vision, you know, uh, with, with the coaches. I mean, uh, and you've got the perfect opportunity to, to let them know what it is right now. <laughs> well, like I, say, uh, like I said before at the other, uh, other installment or episode, uh, we like to use athletics on different platforms. There you go. And so it's easy to talk about wins and losses and, and right. district championships and things of that nature. Uh, but when it comes down to it, there are many other things that sports are supposed to do for your school That's and right. for your athletes. That's right. Uh, one thing is to develop them socially. It helps them with uh, social development. There are many kids that... Confidence, yeah. Exactly. Uh, a lot of kids come out and they're shy and they walk around this campus and, and really don't know what to say or do with other kids. A little insecure, not quite where exactly. they're feel, feeling it out yet. Exactly. Yeah. And, and one of the testaments that I have, uh, a lot of parents have come to me about it. here are kids to walk around now. You can nice. see the confidence in them. Yes. You can see that they're comfortable talking with adults, talking with teachers and other uh, students and their peers, and they're able to hold their own and be confident in the things they're doing. That's awesome. And it's just life lessons that you get That's out it. of athletics. Uh, getting kids to speak up. That's uh, right. Building captains and leaders of the world. Yes. Uh, and understanding that there's more than just me that I have to take care of uh, and understand that there's a team aspect of it. And when you get a job one day, uh, teamwork is a very, very crucial part of any job that you'll have. That's uh, right. Being able to uh, be a good team uh, player, uh, be a leader, and also be a supporter of all type of management or administration. That's and right. So just teach these guys the discipline right. of real life situations and uh, using sports as a platform. That's good. And not the be all and get all by all means necessary. And the right. scoreboard, we, we there's a scoreboard there for a purpose or for a meaning. Right. We try to make the scoreboard look good with wins and losses. <laughs> right. you know, that's part of it. But the realization of it is 
um, it's a platform yes. to uh, help develop kids and socially, mentally, physically, yeah. and, and have them feeling good about themselves and, and able to lead other people. And that's the real joy that you get out of it. That's awesome. You can teach and coach it. Well, you know, Coach, you, you, you've hit some great points uh, there. And, um, you know, we can eat, we can... Uh, share what it is that uh, we see happen you know the coach can share what he sees happen but until you get a chance to experience it yourself um, you're you know it's there's nothing can take the place of experience you know the uh, teacher of experience and um, it's one thing to know in theory it's another thing to know in experience and I think that's you know not only for the students and the athletes but also for the parents and the family that's something that both can share in the development process and discovery process of you know um, what happens to an athlete as they they gain self confidence and they you know they they fought for something then they train for it and then uh, the confidence begins to come up to say you know I've accomplished something and not only have I done that but I've also learned how to begin to take to to be instructed and to walk it out where you know um, if I apply exactly what it is that I'm being taught um, I can see the, the the fruit of my labor and the you know uh, uh, the success from it. exactly well like I, I tell parents I can I can sell this athletic department uh, as much as I want to I can go and tell you about all the great things that were happening and all the great things that we're doing with your kid and just really make it sound real good uh, but I tell the parents uh, don't listen to me uh, just check your kids. Okay? Right, right, right. Uh, the kids may not ever say anything about it. Okay, right. But you will see it in them. your it. kid will be your biggest indicator on what type of program that they're in. There it is. Or what type of person that their coach, uh, the person that they're dealing with in their coaches. What type of influence that that uh, kid is getting by those coaches. The kids will be your biggest indicator. I couldn't say enough words. The yeah. kids may not even say it in words, but those actions speaks a whole lot more. Uh, right. when it comes to the volume That's good. Uh, and the impact of how coaches or athletics will uh, impact your student or right. child. Right. Now, uh, Coach, that's that's awesome. And, um, you know, I, I can't stress enough, along along with what you're saying, that the, the how important it is to um, the Newman program. You know, Dr. George um, has, uh, you know, demonstrates, um, you know, phenomenal leadership and vision and um we get to uh we get to reflect on a daily basis you know in the you know uh uh in the process you know with hands on and and getting to re help reflect that uh love level of integrity and you know something that i want to say to the just to say out loud for the parents to hear for the students to hear you know if you're thinking about getting you know kids being engaged into athletics and um you know wanting to watch that come and talk to find coach ivy come and uh talk you know ask Ask around and come and engage, and you're, you're, it's going to be worth seeing what happens, uh, you know, in your student, in your child, in your um, in, in, in your family's life over overall. And uh, so, I, I would just want to say that I would affirm that and say, you know, um, the level you have people that are educated people that are qualified people um, who have a genuine value and a concern to have a a sincere quality program you know that that it's not just about the numbers like you were saying you know the scoreboard is there for a reason but if we only focus on that we're missing it because then we're we're only teaching them that uh, you know the appearance and what what uh, you know uh, I've seen well far too off far too many times we've seen people say well you know hey if if it justifies if the end is ju is justified it doesn't matter whatever you know you do, whatever you have to do to get it and so and we know that that's not that's not we can't say that we are developing real character and say the ends will justify any means exactly. you know so we, we so it's a good thing that that um we're we're getting to talk about it and getting to put it out there and i know that there's a, there's a lot of families a lot of students that have already been able to impact and you know all of your coaches um you know is there anything with any of the other coaches that you'd want to you know just like you know mention or or just you know anything that's happened recently that 
uh, was worth highlighting or, or anything like that? Um, you know? Yes. Yeah, so, well, I got a chance to go and uh, watch a soccer game. Okay, okay. And just, and, you know, Coach De La Cruz. Okay, Coach Cruz. Coach, you know, yeah. uh, was really impact me was the way he would talk with his kids. All right. You know, it's more as if he's talking to his family. You gotcha. know, they, everybody have a role that they play and he understanding and respect the role that they play so it's no big eyes to you and he makes sure he stretch right. that out with them and when he talks with them he talks with them not, uh, not he talks with them and not at them. There you go. You know, yeah. and, uh, it's like having an open dialogue within that, that game. It's not really, you know, you're going to do this, you're going to do that. And um, because I said so, he, he really spell it out, explain it to the players and make sure they understand it and yeah. get a grasp of it. That's uh, good. He's, he's pretty good at that. And uh, Coach T, yeah. my goodness, she's on fire. I, I mean, hear some good things about that volleyball yeah, team. Yeah, she, yeah, she's a leader of women, you know. That's she's awesome. She's always making sure that the girls are appropriate and rest appropriate in their action. Yeah. And, and making sure that they're taking care of their business on and off the court. And so I see a really uh, a lot of good things coming with those those two. Good. We have a lot of young coaches, new coaches on staff, uh -huh. and those two take those coaches under their wings and their staff, under the volleyball staff, and the soccer staff, and they really just uh, kind of mentor them and make sure that they're That's awesome. getting all the nourishment that they need and that they're not left out. That's and, great. Uh, and uh, Coach Erickson, our cheer coach, right. my goodness, we, we play the game over in Dallas Academy, yeah. and the cheer were on the other side of the field, then we could hear them clear across the field <laughs> to our side. I mean, That's has, what we're talking about. She has them going, you know, they're, they're loud, they're proud. They're That's the cheering squad we want to have out they the game. Exactly. Yeah. They're not dead, they have the stands on fire. Right on. And that's what we're looking for. That's the school pride that we're really trying to bring. That's excellent. In this own. That's uh, excellent. It's, so it's, it's good to hear. Really work. They're really working hard and they're really seeing the big picture and they understand what it is that we're here for. That's, that's wonderful. You know, we're talking about um, the quality of, of the individuals that are, you know, in key positions inside the program to help make it, you know, something that is going to genuinely stand out, um, you know, especially as time goes by and in the 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 program grows. Uh, the the coach, what is uh, what's next on the docket for uh, New England Warriors? You know what what's uh, what do you have to you know calendar or um, event wise you want to bring to the table? Well, I want to talk about all the rest of the sports or all the sports that we have to offer right now. Okay, which will be soccer, uh, volleyball, football, and we're all in a crucial time of the year right now. And that's district play. District play is very very important. Uh, it determines whether you make to the playoffs or not. It really shows you where uh, your team is. Um, you have all the tests all done for uh, the year for the okay. season play. And now district is where you show what you know. Gotcha. You know, and see if you're really a uh, contender or a pretender. Okay, and okay. So we're, all our teams are uh, in district play, like I said. Soccer, we have a few more games left in district. Um, and so we're really asking for people to come out and support them. They're in a tight, tight race. Really? We're taking the top four teams. And uh, those four teams will make that playoff in our district. And this is a tight, tight race with us and another team at uh, Dallas Adventures. And we'll be playing them October the 13th. We really, really want many people out there uh, okay. to go see that game. Volleyball, they're so possessional. Uh, first place of varsity volleyball. Uh, they've only lost one district game. Wow. And so they're on the second go around of all district play. And so uh, we really need them to really bring it on. And, and they're really excited about um, district play and, and being in the in, in playoff race. They have a chance still to be the number one seed. Oh, wow. And so they, they once they play Lucas again, mm -hmm. and we beat them. And then we'll play a playoff game to kind of uh, break the tie there to get awesome. first place. So we're looking to do that. And then uh, football uh, starting this week will be uh, their first district okay. uh, test for the wow. varsity football team. So varsity hadn't lost a game all year so far. And so uh, all the games have not been close at all. We've really been uh, 
uh, taking care of business. <laughs> That's uh, what we love to hear. Yeah, we have a lot of athletic young men, and uh, the good thing about it is they're really loving the weight room. Excellent, and excellent. So we're getting bigger, we're getting stronger. They're developing. Uh, exactly, the mental game is there. Yeah. Uh, they're all held accountable, and they hold each other accountable. That's excellent. And so district play will be starting this week, okay. and so uh, for the next five weeks we'll be in district. Okay. And, uh, we're really trying to find the playoff uh, scenario or situation. Let me say something right there, Coach. Uh, Newman family, we are in district. As Coach said, we got to gather around these teams for these big events. Now, the uh, Coach mentioned one um, game that's coming up on October 13th. Isn't that correct, Coach? Yes. It's October 13th. Okay. We want to get everybody out there for this. We, you know, this is a this is one of our competitors, y'all. We we got to have so we got to have the the family. The new family gather around to join and engage with uh, showing the that the Warriors represent. We're gonna hand, they're gonna focus on handling business on the field. We got to focus on handling business representing for to supporting them. Yes, exactly. And it's a away game. It's gonna be in North Dallas. Okay. And like I say, all the schedules be online. There you and go. The game addresses are all online on the. Uh, NewmanAcademy.org Go to the athletic tab And you'll be able to see those things Excellent. And um, one thing One sign that shows that A school has school pride And spirit and really support Something yeah, there you is go. when It's inconvenient for you to be there So being at home that's really convenient For right, right, people right. to go but when we're talking about travel, that's right, and we'll go out there and take over that's right. the other person's <laughs> home place, you there know, there you go. more of our people there uh, than theirs, uh, that's when you really show the love and support for your, uh, your athletic program. Absolutely. And so uh, we're really stressing uh, the importance of getting out there and really rallying behind our volleyball and soccer and football teams. And uh, really making that push for playoffs. And uh, excellent. Like I said, all those kids are online. Our middle school teams are in district as well. Excellent. And so we're looking to uh, represent the district as well. And you can get all those uh, schedule online as well. I'm loving. It. I'm loving what I'm hearing, Coach. Uh, you know, we've got some. We have. It's it's one thing to say, okay, let's gather around and support our team because they really need it. Because uh, you know they're not. <laughs> <laughs> They're not doing too well in the field, so we need, to, we need to have that additional encouragement. It's another thing to say, you know, it's amazing where what was what we're doing on the field, and we have that level of engagement that we can say, hey. They're delivering on the field. We have to deliver, you know, in, in the showing the same equal or greater, so, you know, reflection of support exactly. out there. And so uh, it's a privilege to be able to say, you know, how, how well we're doing. And so it's easy to call out people to say, come on, you guys, oh, come yeah. and see how awesome our teams are doing. Yeah, let's, let's match the intensity on the field. There we go. With the intensity in the stands. There we go. So <laughs> we dominate both. Nothing but good things can come out of it. Domination on the field. There you go. Domination in the, in the stands. We'll leave all the hidden for the field, but definitely we'll show up on uh, show up to the games inside the stands. Exactly, and, rally, and really rally behind each other. And That's really right. Show that encouragement to our kids. That's excellent, and that's such a big thing. And you know, it's a it's such a big deal to when a student is in the game or on the field, and they are able to look up and they see that's my dad or that's my mom up there, and exactly. they know that they're being is watched not only from the people that are supposed to be there but they know that they have that home support as well oh, exactly and especially with the teachers as well it's good to see them look up there well that's the same teacher that giving my homework and that's right in the classroom now they really support me in my co-curricular activities there you go yeah so they're really caring about me whether i'm in their classroom or we're outside the classroom right. it's just an ultimate care that they'll feel that's uh, good from their teacher that's good so we're dealing with you know staff family uh team members to other teams and you know students and also uh, you know we want to call out the family um so coach you know as we as we begin to wrap things up what is it that you think is is there anything else that you need to um let us know is on the up and coming or uh, that we haven't covered yet uh, no, so we just uh, no, we have district play, okay. and as soon as district play is over, uh, you'll get the schedule of the playoff uh, scenario, the bracket on where okay. we have our extra uh, games for the year. 
I want to go ahead and say congratulations to the homecoming uh, games and and uh, winners out there. Um, you know, maybe we'll, we'll be able to cover a little bit more of that um, next program unless you want to say anything on that. Yes, yeah, so, well, we're just just proud of our guys and how things happen. There you go on the field. You know, the booster club taking care of the whole uh, homecoming deal, making it look absolutely gorgeous yep. out there. Yes, and make sure our kids have fun at that afterglow party. Excellent, it's excellent. Just, uh, Everything that they do it really makes our athletic department look that much more better. That's great. And uh, we want to thank the Booster Club for all they're doing, uh, just like Coach Ivy just said. And um, all right, well, uh, what a great uh, second broadcast for our Newman Academy uh, Sports Action News here at NWRN Newman Warrior Radio News. We're going to have a few more programs up to bat next, and uh, we'll be we'll be coming in next right after this short break. Keep it right here, Newman Warriors. Go tell your friends and family right now. Go grab somebody and let them know, hey, uh, tune into NWRN right now and check out what's uh, what all the latest updates are and uh, what's going on. Okay, we'll be right back right after this. Okay, welcome back, Newman Warriors. What a great program that was with Coach Ivy. Uh, great segment on live action sports today. We appreciate everybody tuning in and make sure that you call somebody, send out a text, let somebody know, tune in to NWRN. We've got a new program coming up for you. Uh, we're going to switch gears and we're going to go straight into perspectives with Patrick. Now, Patrick, I will let him introduce himself to a certain degree, but first I want to get to give him an official introduction. This is a young man that is a, a senior here at Newman Academy. He's a pre-med student, and he's also a honor roll student. He has some great perspective, and what he did was he brought to the table a great idea for a radio program. And this is something that's going to be spread out over uh, the course of the year. We're going to be talking about, we have one major topic, and um, we're going to be defining success uh, using the iceberg illusion, and we have several multi-subtopics that we're going to be covering along the way. Now, these are things that are going to be inspirational to you. These are things that are going to be, um, you know, implemental, something that you can implement, you know, you Newman Warriors students uh, for every area of your life while you're walking through going to school, facing the challenges that you're facing, and all that you have going on in your life through the process of trying trying to be successful in your academics and in life while you're here at Newman Academy. So what we're going to do is uh, we're going to jump right into some of the things regarding the iceberg effect. But first, I'm going to uh, welcome Patrick to the show. Patrick, how you doing? I'm doing pretty good. How are you? Doing well, man. It's, it's good to have you on the program here at NWRN. Good to be here. Good, good, good. Now, um, okay, Patrick, so why don't you give us a little breakdown, uh, maybe like an overview of what it is we're going to be talking about here at uh, uh, NWRN with your new program. Um, are you excited about having your own program here with NWRN? Yeah, it's a new experience. So I'm ready. All right, okay. So make sure you talk up real loud so everybody can hear you on the, out there. All right. And then uh, let's just uh, give me some information about the uh, iceberg effect. All right, so um, as everyone knows, an iceberg is a, a piece of ice, obviously. Um, from a glacier, which is a larger piece of ice. It's a wall of ice, if you will. And um, an iceberg becomes an iceberg when it falls off the glacier and um, floats in the ocean. And um, what we see is just the tip of the iceberg, as everyone knows. It's a great quote, you know, this is just the tip of the iceberg, something like that. Now, um, what people don't see is what's beneath the surface, you know, the rest of the iceberg. The stuff that can hurt you if you're not careful. Is it kind of the things that you have to pay attention to yeah. that nobody else mm -hmm. really gets to see? Yeah, and uh, when you look up the picture, like you said, um, you look up, um, the iceberg illusion. Um, since we're going to be talking about success, because that's our topic um, for now, there's a little ship here that's sailing towards this iceberg. Uh -oh. And it's like an ant compared to this iceberg. That's right. But all you see, all the ship sees, is this huge, 
huge, I don't know what other word to use, but a huge wall of ice in front of it. <laughs> and it's like nothing compared to it. The thing, it gets worse because underneath the surface is more ice two, three, four, five times the size of what's on the surface. What's above the surface? It's a powerful statement right there. It is. Because it's true. Uh, that's, that's also a good metaphor for, uh, you know, like what we face in our daily lives. What you're facing, these new warriors, what you're going through, uh, you know, um, the, the tests and the different challenges that obstacles, you're facing. Obstacles. Obstacles and uh, stuff. So just looking at the picture that um, Patrick's talking about right here, I want to say something to that effect. Um... You've got a tiny ship. It's a big ship. It's a large ship, okay? In reality, the iceberg's just bigger. It, but the iceberg... Just way bigger. You know, the crew, they're looking at the sh at the iceberg, and they see a, gigan a gigantic piece of ice, you know, in out their, of the water. In their way. In, 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 and in their way. But just like Patrick said... That's not even their biggest problem. That's just the tip of the iceberg. Because what they're seeing, like he's saying, is is just the tip of the iceberg. What is their biggest problem is the fact that that thing is not going to move if they hit it, even though they're in a big ship, because... Why? There's more beneath the surface. There's so much more than meets the eye, right? I mean, it goes down like five times, ten times deeper than what it even appears is sticking out of the water. I'm looking at this picture and I feel like a hundred of these little ships could fit inside of this big iceberg. And this is a big ship. Like, for example, the Titanic. There you um, go. It's about five and a half football fields long. That's right. Um, it came in contact with an iceberg that was um, a couple hundred feet long and a couple more hundred feet wide. And that was just the top Take that, those couple hundreds, and multiply them by like two, three, four. And put that beneath the surface. That's, that's what you're, that's what they were facing. And the, the, the Titanic was not a small ship. How big was it? Right. It was like, um, five, it was, it was large enough to fit five and a half football fields. Like one right after the other. So I mean, that's a... It's a long ship. You know how you know how big a football field is, right? It's for you guys to know least that much. So, um, I think it's 160, uh, 160 feet? Uh, feet or yards. Feet. It was 160. Okay. okay. So, so take that and um, put it on the water and let it go for a little bit, and then let it encounter this gigantic frozen monster that will not budge. Now, how do we take this, Patrick, and apply this to, um, you know, our our pathway, our goal to success? You know, we're we're talking about the iceberg effect because we are wanting to help new warriors out there gain some perspective about, um, you know, the illusion. The illusion is only what's on the surface, right? It's what people can see. Just you know, they, they see the, uh, like for example, um, you know, when, um, uh, who, what was that famous uh, athlete who wore the, Michael Johnson, who wore the golden, who wore the golden shoes, mm -hmm. okay, he won like a bunch of gold medals, you know, everybody there got to, at the Olympics, got to see him get down on his knees, start at the starting line, and take off. And they got to see him get come out in the lead in front of everybody right. and win first place, set a new world record, right. and gain his gold medal. Right. But, okay, now this is the reason why I chose Michael, Michael Johnson story. Okay, when I was living in Waco, my coach had taken me out to the track. Michael Johnson went to Baylor. Oh. So, one day, my coach, who, is, who had also went to Baylor on, on the track team, was on the track team with Michael Johnson. Wow. He came out, he brought us out to the track, and we were going to work on uh, some shot put and discus work. And I didn't know who Michael Johnson was at that time. And he, he stops us on our way to the pit over there, and he looks, 
to the other side of the track. Mm -hmm. Right? Right at the beginning of the curve. And he goes, you guys see that guy over there? And I was like, yeah. We stopped and watched for a second. And all he was doing was getting down on his knees and taking off and taking about five steps and then stopping. And then he had about eight coaches around him and they'd stay in there for a minute and they'd talk about his takeoff. And I thought for my, for a minute, I thought that was kind of odd because I'd never seen anything like that. You know? You just, I'd never seen someone doing what he was doing and in the position that he was in. Just taking off and stopping. Yeah, and then having a long conversation about it with multiple coaches. And so I said, Tom, I said, who is that? And he said, that guy right there is going to have about eight gold medals around his neck in about four months. He's going to win the he's going to win the Olympics. And I said, who is that? And he said, that's Michael Johnson. Michael Johnson. Right? And all they did, see, here's what I'm getting at. We're talking about the iceberg illusion. We're talking about success. Is only what people see on the surface. What they don't see is the hours, the ten thousand hours of the price being paid for that success that everybody saw. Here's the picture. He would go out to that track every single day and have the coaches coach him, right? Mm -hmm. And then, four months later, everybody got to see him win the, win the world record, win, win the gold medals. But right. nobody was there I got it, I got except it. for his coaches. So, during the, during the day when he was, when he was working so hard. Tie, tie this back to the iceberg. What he's saying is, when he, the tip of the iceberg regarding Michael Johnson, was when he went to the Olympics and won all the eight gold medals. That's right. What's beneath the surface, what those people who saw him win, the whole world, what they didn't see, was the hours upon hours he spent at the track, just taking off. That's right. And stopping and talking about it, and fixing it, and doing it again, and Perfecting again, Perfecting it. And again. That's right. Because it takes your muscles 10,000 repetitions. 10,000. For it to become second nature. So guess how many times he must have taken off and stopped? What? A whole lot. A whole lot. Now, now this iceberg that we're talking about, it could be anything. It, 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 let's, let's make it an obstacle, for example. Because I'm trying to help you guys here, you know, be successful. So, let's make it an obstacle. That's right. Let's say, um, you have this, um, this essay you're supposed to write. And you have writer's block like nobody. Shakespeare can help you fix this writer's block. It was that bad. What are you? What are you gonna do? Because the writer's block is your iceberg. You can't just, you know, sit there and stare at it because it's gonna stare right back at you. You know, you're just gonna stay there forever, unless, unless you do something about it. So, you know, what you're gonna do is overcome that obstacle. Because that, that's what Neiman Warriors do, you know, how we talk about overcoming and winning in power all the time, so. That's now, great, that's, that's great. Let me, let me throw something in on that right there. Mm -hmm. uh, that is where what you've practiced comes into play. That's true. Right? Because, you know, when you, it's that overcoming that obstacle. How do they overcome that obstacle? You know, they got the writer's block, they're sitting there, and they they, they don't know where to start. They don't know what, what to, what to yeah. come up with. They're trying to find that inspiration, yeah. and, and it's not there. Mm -hmm. But here's what the key to success is, you know. Uh, one of the keys to the success is this, is when you don't feel like it, when you don't know what it is, you even know what you're supposed to do, or you don't even know how you're going to do it, that's when... You take the words and the advice of the teachers, the instructors, the mentors that have been put around you. All the powwows. Come on, guys. Everything that we've been, and we're going to get into that here in just a few minutes. Uh, but all of the wisdom that, that you've gotten, gained from your, from, your, from your teachers. So what do you do? You recall those things at that time. You go to your resources. You recall, you. You recall the information that they've, they've laid out in front of you. And you sit down, you put your pen to your paper, or you put your fingers on your keypad, and you just begin to write. And you let it begin to come. 
And you know what? The giftings that are inside of you, the ex life experiences that you have, might be the first things that begin to come to the surface. But you know what? It's a whole lot easier, and I think Patrick will agree with me on his perspective here. Yeah. Uh, it's a whole lot easier to move, to steer a moving boat, than it is one that's just sitting still. Yeah. You know, I'm going to be geeky here for a second. Um, this is law. I think it's a law of thermodynamics, if I'm not mistaken. An object in motion will stay in motion, while an object at rest will stay at rest. I think you're tapping into Newton's law there. Yeah, yeah, that's, I think that's what, that's the one. Do not be that object that stays at rest, because you will want to stay at rest. You're not, you don't want to go anywhere, you're just going to want to stay there, because it's rest. It's peaceful, not doing anything, but an object in motion is making progress. An object in motion is moving forward. That's right. An object in motion is getting stuff done. That it's, it's, it's getting that essay done. You're getting that essay done. Because all these, all these powwows you go to every Tuesday, it's not for nothing. That's right. I promise you that. I promise you that right now it's not for nothing. Because I went to those powwows. I've been here since the eighth grade. I've been to powwows every Tuesday for since school started, since I came in eighth grade for five years. And I thought to myself, man, what is this? What, what am I doing here? And they would tell us, oh, we're preparing outstanding warriors and wisdom to overcome and win. And I was like, um, I need some macaroni because that must be the cheesiest thing I've ever heard. But. Come on, give me that. Give me what that big butt is. But because, because of all those powwows I've been to, it's pretty much equivalent to that 10,000 repetition, you, repetitions your muscles need to make something second nature. They, they tell you every single power, preparing outstanding warriors with wisdom to overcome and win. All the powwows you go to, that's preparing you. All the powwows you go to, is preparing you to be an outstanding warrior, regardless. There you go. With wisdom to overcome and win. Overcome whatever obstacle this is that That's you're right. facing. Overcome this essay. Right? You've been going to school here for a while now, so you've been prepared the entire time you've been here. These teachers aren't here just giving you homework just to give you homework. Our motto is building a whole person for the whole world. That's right. So we're preparing you for the whole world. That's what we're doing. Well, not me, the teacher. But you know. That's, that's what it is that's happening here. You're being prepared to be an outstanding person for the whole world. So once you get out there, you know, you won't be caught by surprise when icebergs come, come at you from left and right. You don't know what to do. So, about this essay. Since you've been prepared this entire time, and you're still getting prepared, what you need to do is, because it says here in this picture, um, what people don't see um, under the iceberg is dedication, hard work, discipline, uh, sacrifice, persistence, all that. And that sounds all good because, you know, those are good things that, uh, those are good qualities to have. But really, what you need to focus on is the fact that those qualities have already been instilled in you every Tuesday. They've already been instilled in you every powwow that you go to. That's right. And every time you hear them, recite what it means to be a new warrior. Every time they sing the anthem, every time we, we, we get a lesson at powwow, that's, that's what it is, it's preparing you. It's amazing, Patrick, how, um, you know, we're able to begin to, like the time in the students' lives right now, it's all about being prepared, it's about being shaped and molded into who they're going to be the rest of their life. For the whole world. And it's like, you know, that's the iceberg, that's, that's, that's the tip of the iceberg, that's what everybody's gonna see, 
is what has been what the person has been shaped and molded into and what they don't don't see are all the countless hours of investment mm-hmm. and shaping that's right that you're talking about that's right you know you're talking about since eighth grade you're, you're gonna, a senior now mm-hmm. you're not going to notice it you're not going to know you're probably not going to notice the effect because i didn't it's, it's one of those things that'll, that'll sneak up on you it's subconscious that's what it is subconscious messages well at least it was for me you know all these years i've been been attending these powwows and you know just going by but then you know as life hits you with these icebergs you know you start to draw on all these all these lessons that you've gotten all the fruits that they've um, all the seeds that they sow in you because miss hart says that all the time you know every chance i get them so a seed in one of these kids they're gonna blossom you know it's done an outstanding warrior that's awesome that's that's what happens i mean a shout out to miss hart shout out to miss hart right there um that's that's what happens because man five years a lot has happened to me i'm gonna tell you that right now i've i've seen a lot of ice man but guess what i overcame and won because that that's what new warriors do well you know what I'll, i'll throw something else out there you know at you you know uh another part of the philosophy the uh you know the culture and um you know molding and shaping the seed you know right. refer that way uh that dr george says mm-hmm. is um you know uh, creating warriors of wisdom stature and favor mm-hmm. it's like you know i look at you patrick and i see you in sitting in the, in the radio studio with me and uh you know definitely favor all over you because you of the fact that you have um you know are are um an accomplished student you know um wisdom there's there's wisdom there for your age uh, beyond your age and uh you know the stature is something that's like okay you're getting a chance to influence and to help share your own experiences things you've drawn off of uh you know in your own successful life uh in in journey with uh through newman academy's process and, and program to now be able to turn around and say look you guys here's here's how i can help you know and um i, I wanted us to get a chance to go over these lessons here because our top where we wanted to kind of cover the, the, the give you guys a full picture of what the iceberg um, illusion is right and then what we're gonna do is uh, the success is what people see that's the top that's the tip of the iceberg okay and then um, the reason why they call it the iceberg illusion is because there's so much more under the surface that people don't see and the subtopics that we're gonna be covering that Patrick's gonna be covering in his perspective um, program here is uh, and, you know I'm, I'm gonna let you um, name these guys off so that way we can they'll know what segments we're gonna be dealing with what so that we can have success you know and this is some this isn't something that okay this is something that we all want but I want you guys to know that this is something that um, Patrick initiated to me so and the content that he brought and so uh, I'm gonna let him, you know, have have the reins here and just go, uh, you know, line item by line item right. and share what it is that we're gonna be covering. All right. So, um, first of all, there's dedication, there's hard work, there's discipline, there's sacrifice, there's persistence, but there's also failure and disappointment. Let me, let me give you a quote right quick. It says, Only before dawn, I think. Yeah, 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 that's what it is. Okay. So it says, Stars shine brightest at night, obviously. Because that's when you see them. The stars shine. The point is, before something good happens, you're gonna feel like, oh, this is this is hell. This is rock bottom. You're gonna be disappointed in the situation that you're in. I'm like, oh, I failed. Yep, all that dedication, hard work, discipline must be for nothing. But it's not. I promise you, it's not. Cause I've been there. And let me tell you right now, when you feel that way, 
that's when the dedication, hard work, discipline, all that, the sacrifice, it kicks in. You have to draw from all that and persist. And watch this. You have to persist and overcome and win. You have to get past that that hurdle, that obstacle in front of you, in front of you. That's you know making you stagnant and stationary and move on move forward because progress is forward life goes on and you have to you have to catch up and you know just keep going regardless so in order to catch up and keep going regardless and not le get left behind you need all these um all these qualities instilled in you and that's what they do with power that's great, man. That's, that's absolutely great, Patrick. I think you're right on target there. You know, and I would encourage, uh, I want to just reiterate something that Patrick just said and say, you know, um, to any of you out there, you know, whether in, we want to encompass our warrior families, one is for the students. You know, they're uh, our primary um, warriors here, but we all are warriors. If you are connected and involved, you are part of the warrior family. And if you feel like you're going through hell right now, don't stop. Don't give up. Keep moving forward. And I promise you that this law is, is it's almost like a universal law, you know, um, that uh, if you don't give up, you, you win if you don't give up, number one. Mm -hmm. Because if you do give up, you've already, you've, you have no chance at it. But... If you are willing to persist, if you're willing to overcome, to keep going, even though you might experience failure, if you're willing to sacrifice, if you're willing to push through disappointment, dedicate if yourself. If you're willing to be dedicated and you're willing to be disciplined and to work hard, and going to end up having success in whatever it is you're facing. Okay, the seasons change. It goes. We just went from summer to fall. And now we're in the midst of that change happening and it not only does it change in the natural world around us but that serves as a reflection of how our lives are going to change while we're here on this earth and you know what else i'll say about this is a, some a, a very unique fact that uh you know um uh, you know i may as well just quote uh, the, that rocky quote you yeah, know he, he gave a great there's a great rocky quote it came out of rocky balboa um, which I think was the seventh installment of that Mr. Uh, franchise. Mr. Italian style. Yeah, that's right. You know, uh, South Paw in the house. But, uh, you know, he's standing outside talking to his son, and they're in one of these iceberg illusion moments, okay? And he was talking to him about the fact that he was been, he'd been caught. He was telling his son, you're, you've been, you're, you're stuck in the shadow right now. And the shadow is whatever reason, excuse it is that you give for not accomplishing what it is that you're supposed forward. to be doing. That's right. I'm not moving forward. And he says this, it's not about how hard you hit. No, it's not. But it's about how hard you can get hit and keep moving forward. How much you can take and keep moving forward. You know, uh... People make excuses All the time. for not moving forward, but it's the ones that are able to take the hits and keep moving forward show how winning is done. You gotta not only, you know, take the hit, but when, when you get back up, because you have to, or else you're gonna get left behind by life. Come on. You have to, when you get back up, that hit, that punch that you throw back, has to be harder than the one you took. That's right. That's you right. Gotta eat those punches and throw them right back. And you know what? You, you know, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna regurgitate what you just said. You know, the stars shine brightest at night. At night, man. Only your true colors will show in dark times. Only your true colors will show. Obviously, because that's right. Stars shine brightest in the darkest of light. Okay, I got another quote for you. I got another quote for you. This is. This is one uh, from, uh, you know, Dr. Mawiri. He says this. He says, um, uh, crisis does not, um, crisis uh, reveals you. Okay? 
And where I'm going with this is, like, I gotta think because I'm missing a part of the quote now. <laughs> but, uh, uh, you know, okay, crisis doesn't define you. Yeah. It reveals you. That's okay. Nice. So what you, what we're doing is this: is you're, you're going to class. Your teachers are you're like you are intentionally in specific classes. Okay. The teachers are giving you certain information and they're watching for certain responses because they're wanting to see what is inside of you. And as they see the things that begin to come out from within you. Then they're going to know what to channel, what to harness, and what to develop so that they can see that gifting, that talent, uh, that intelligence brought to its max potential, mm -hmm. right? So that way, as we face, Patrick, these things in life, um, on our journey to success, you know, like this iceberg, we face failure, we face something where sacrifice is demanded of us, uh, where we're called to discipline ourselves more than we ever have. These things that our teachers have have helped draw out of us, the inner you, you know, that's right, the, the, from the seeds that have been sown, thank, right? Thank you, Ms. Hart. And, and all, as all these things begin to come out, um, the shaping and the molding of your character, your identity, who you are. Shaping, molding, building. That's right. Building, building the whole person for the whole world. For the whole world, world bring, making success. That's, that's what it is. And I think the, what we would hit on before, um, Patrick, was how valuable it is for you not to be like uh, just another person in the crowd. Mm -hmm. but, to, but the reason why, you know, teachers talk individual to individual students they they engage uh students individually on a personal level is because what was it what was the example that we gave um let me, let me think oh yeah oh yeah 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 right. i'm sitting here i'm holding up my thumb oh yeah give me my thumbs up all right all right so i get what he's talking about all right so you know how there's um there's seven I mean, I mean, 7 billion, 7.3 billion people in the world, something like that. Right around there, man. Um, and we're all different. There's no two people are alike. Doesn't matter what you look like. Doesn't matter if you have a twin. Your twin is not you. You know, you think differently. You look the same. You might act the same. But you look differently. Because everyone, everyone look at your hand right now. And okay, now, look at your thumb. Bam. See those little rings and lines on your thumb? That's your fingerprint, right? That's it. There's only one of those in the entire world. Because there's only going to be one of you ever. Bam. Let me, let me say that again. There's only going to be one of you ever. There's not going to be one in the past. There's, there wasn't one in the past. There's not going to be one in the future. You are right now. You will only ever be right now. So, with that being said, you don't have time to try and fit in or adapt or try to be normal, quote unquote, because really there is not, there's no such thing as normal. That's just what everyone else does. So we call it normal because everyone else does it, and it's right. and might may or may not be socially accepted. So we just go ahead and do it because you know trying to fit into society but what we want to do we don't want to we don't want to just stick with a crowd what is it that we, we want to be part of the herd we want to stand out we want to leave our mark mr bankston said know who you are two powwows ago that's right know who you are you're not going to know who you are if you're stuck in a herd you're not going to know who you are if you have not realized your inner potential or even tried to you're not that's right that's right if you're stuck in a herd whatever happens to the herd happens to you you know, they could they could run you over, they could leave you because you know it's the mind is hurt. One person moves, everybody moves. You know, I found out something that is, is uh, one of one of you know we all have those defining moments in life mm -hmm. where we either you know the light bulb goes off, mm -hmm. we finally understand something we didn't understand. Eureka. Yeah, you know we <laughs> uh, touche. We did. It. We we finally have a. Um, you know, a mountaintop experience, if you will, um, and you know, it's it's in those times of defining 
where we end up redefining. And the reason I say that is because, like, I'm looking at this iceberg here, okay? What people see is on the surface, right? Okay? But you know what? As we take a look beneath the surface, there's a redefining of what we defined up here on the surface. Yeah, it looks way different now, man, guys. You know, so if, when, you, when you dig deeper, when you go deep, when you dig uh, into, the, when you go further in the soil, mm -hmm. uh, that's where you get the nutrients. Come on. If you're a plant and you're, you, gotta, you, you stretch your roots deep. All of so these things. So you can things. have a good foundation. That's it. Get some good nutrients and grow. And you can only, you can only build as high as a foundation is wide. Mm-hmm. And as the foundation is deep. And you know what I was just thinking about when you were talking about that? Is every one of these every one of these subtopics that surround um, the iceberg under the surface. Mm -hmm. If we if we if we uh, you know as a par parallelism as a parallelism <laughs> <That's hard laughs> I'm trying to get that one out. Um, as as parallel to that, okay, we're looking talking about soil. Um, all of these things, you know, persistence, failure, sacrifice, disappointment, all these things, instead of it being something that you panic about when you encounter it, uh, you use it like a gardener, right? He, when he's preparing the soil, what does he do? He doesn't, he doesn't freak out when he sees a rock, a thistle, or a thorn. What does he do? Gets it out he gets it out of the way. He so uses it. He uses it to its to for its purpose. And his purpose is to, is to create uh, the right kind of rich soil. And he's going to use that by by pulling them out of the way. And you know what? Whatever thorns, thistles, uh, rocks, things in in our life that we end up encountering that our teachers end up bringing to our attention mm -hmm. you know we, f we face uh, disappointment we face something where we have to increase our discipline don't freak out our hard work has to be more we're not going to freak out we're going to realize that they are genuinely helping us to become deep rich soil we are, they are helping us to realize our inner potential and capitalize on it that's right that's build right. it build us up and That's hold right. us so we could be prepared for the whole world because that's what our motto is awesome because we're we're developing warriors of wisdom stature and favor favor that's right okay well this is gonna just about wrap up our first episode here with patrick um uh, you know great title perspectives is it perspective or perspectives you like perspective with patrick perspective it was a hard one to come up with Hey, right, yeah, this is a very good one. Yeah. You know, uh, so f friends, warriors, tell your friends about it. Uh, tune in. And, um, you know, what we're going to do is we're going to come back uh, in our next program. We're going to continue this. We're going to dive beneath the surface. We're going to go even deeper. We're going to bring out some more keys to success. Mm -hmm. What you're going to face along the way. And we're going to get some more perspective from Patrick. All right. Does that sound good? Yes, sir. Okay, well, NWRN, Newman Warrior Radio News, that's going to bring our conclusion to Perspective with Patrick to an end. We hope to have you back on our next broadcast, and we keep it right here. I also want to say that, you know, if you have any interest in uh, what Patrick is, is doing, and you have something that you'd like to bring to the table, please come come in and see us here in the studio. Uh, we'd love to talk to you about um, what uh, you know different opportunities there are. And uh, we're just going to say, for this point, um, over and out. out. Well, Newman Warriors, I think uh, that was a great program with uh, Patrick, uh, Pat Perspective with Pat, and um, again, I just want to say thank you all for tuning in to NWRN, Newman Warrior Radio News. Make sure you keep it right here, make sure you help spread the word, uh, bring it up in a conversation, let your friends know about it so that they can come check it out. Also, let your parents know and, uh, you know, 
let the business partners know, everybody, let everybody in the Newman Family Network know that um, you're able to put an ad, a sponsorship and underwriting uh, level of sponsorship here on, on NWRN, and we will do a little adver- advertising spot for you. And uh, we can, if you're interested, make sure to come in at and write us at uh, dhensley at newmanacademy.org to find out requests, and we'll be able to get you information for that. Uh, Ken, what else do we have to go over before we um, wrap this program up for today? You know, I think that's pretty much it, but I did want to say a special thank you to Patrick. That was an awesome program. Definitely a very wise young man, so thank you for giving us that information. Absolutely. And, uh, I agree with that. Guys, also don't forget, if you are interested in having your music on the radio, be sure to stop by the media office and we'll get that picked up for you. That's the end. If you want to have some advertising done here on NWRN, make sure to send us an email. Uh, Kenneth, I think we've uh, wrapped up our program for this for this uh, uh, session. I and, know. And, you know, we're going to say goodbye. Kind of I know, but uh, <laughs> we will definitely be back with another program soon. So, NWRN Newman Warrior Radio News, out.